Welcome to the Happiness Matters podcast, where we'll explore happiness at work and show you how to coach yourself to be happier there and more successful too, no matter what. Hello everyone, I'm your host Julia Seal and today we're celebrating World Smile Day. It's this Friday, if you're listening in 2019, the 4th of October. Sounds fun, doesn't it? World Smile Day. Most recently, we've spent time discussing and learning to coach ourselves using smileys, smiling, laughing, and their importance to our happiness at work. So we've been in the world of smiles as part of our Series 1 Insights. Now, we're going to wrap up this focus before moving on to coaching ourselves with what our self-smizing and other coaching tools have opened up for you so far. What's behind your unhappiness? Today is an opportunity to put into practice what we've learned and what we've discovered so far on our happiness coaching journey. It's time for you to take some of your learnings out into the world, your world. Now, in this episode, I do reference some back podcast episodes and some previously introduced coaching tools. You really don't need them to enjoy today's topic on coaching yourself with the help of World Smile Day, Coffee and the Mad Hatter, but they will definitely enrich your coaching journey and add to today's discussion. So yes, this episode links to everything we're doing in Series 1, Defining, Assessing, Visioning Your Happiness and Success at Work, as well as the last seven episodes on smiling in particular. You'll find all these episodes either in your podcast player, if you've subscribed to Happiness-Matters, or you can find them and the show notes and any other links I mention on our website, happiness-matters.coach. So World Smile Day. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? And what is it exactly? It is a day devoted to smiles and kind acts around the world. It was started by Harvey Ball, who we introduced a while back as the creator of the iconic yellow smiley face, known as Smiley, which is really the most recognizable symbol of goodwill and good cheer worldwide. 36 years after creating Smiley, Harvey, sick of its commercialization, started World Smile Day, and it's been running every year since then, on the first Friday of October. More recently, Harvey's son started the World Smile Foundation, which donates money to grassroots charitable efforts. They also have smile ambassadors worldwide to spread goodwill. Jackie Chan, Brooke Shields, Prince Albert of Monaco, Jack Nicklaus and Phil Collins are just some of them. You and your company can also join in by signing up on their website, which I'll link to in the show notes. And the call to action is to do an act of kindness. Help one person smile. This year, the World Smile Foundation is asking us to reach more people than ever with Smiley's message of goodwill by using social media and to tag World Smile Day in all your social media activities with hashtag World Smile Day. They're also asking us to take a selfie with those who we're reaching out to and to include Smiley, the yellow smiley face, in your photo. This is such a great opportunity to take what you've discovered on our coaching journey together so far and to just stop for today, well, Friday, and to reach out to someone and smile. Do you remember the poem I shared with you, Smile a While, in episode 1.10? This is so perfect to celebrate World Smile Day. So in honor of my mother, smile a while. Smile a while, and while you smile, others around you will begin to smile, and soon there will be miles and miles and miles of smiles, 
and life is made so worthwhile just because you smiled. (laughs) Do an act of kindness. Help one person smile. Today, the day this episode goes live, is the 1st of October, and it's actually World Coffee Day. So World Coffee Day, or International Coffee Day, has been celebrated globally since 2015, but as early as 2005 in Nepal and 1993 in Japan, and before this day was actually formalized, it was celebrated on the 29th of September in South Africa, Scotland, India, Canada, and the United States. (laughs) There's some trivia for you. The idea behind it is to promote and celebrate coffee as a beverage. We're already drinking 3 billion cups every day, and it's still on the rise. Today is about promoting fair trade coffee and to raise awareness for the fair treatment of coffee growers. And so I've linked to the anthem for International Coffee Day, filmed in beautiful Rwanda, about fair trade coffee and where you can sign the coffee pledge. That's another hashtag. Hashtag Coffee Pledge. (laughs) So today, the 1st of October, why not make yourself a cup of coffee while you listen to this podcast? If you're lining up for coffee while you're listening, make sure you get your free cup of coffee on International Coffee Day. Of course, if you're driving and listening to me, perhaps coffee is not such a good idea. I'm sure you all know about that world-famous court case in 1992 when Stella Liebeck bought a cup of takeaway coffee at a McDonald's drive-thru in New Mexico and spilled it on her lap. She sued McDonald's and a jury awarded her about $3 million for the burns that she suffered. While I'm on the subject of coffee, I think I'm going to do a full podcast episode on your work happiness and coffee, on employee engagement and coffee. As you know, I've been an employee engagement consultant for a decade or so, and I'm continually fascinated by the effect coffee has on employee engagement. So the effects of coffee on your enjoyment of your job, on your connection to your work, on your happiness and success. Yes, really. So I'll plan this into the podcast for later this year. And while I'm on the squirrel moment of International Coffee Day today, And for all you tea drinkers out there, this weekend, the 6th of October, is Mad Hatter Day. (laughs) The Hatter is Lewis Carroll's 1865 fictional character from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. And you might already have been listening to the music I posted on Facebook to go with our recent self-smizing coaching tool. The Mad Hatter was played beautifully by Johnny Depp in Tim Burton's 2010 version of Alice in Wonderland. So Alice comes across the Hatter at an extremely odd tea party, where he recites nonsensical poetry, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Bat, and asks unanswerable riddles. Why is a raven like a writing desk? The Hatter and his tea party friend, the March Hare, are both mad, according to the Cheshire Cat, he of the inscrutable grin that we met in our recent episodes on the human smile. And this madness and fun is what is celebrated on Mad Hatter Day. In 1986, a group of computer programmers from Colorado decided to celebrate a day of silliness by wearing top hats that were inspired by the Hatter. In the original image from Lewis Carroll's book, the Hatter's hat has a label 10 slash 6 on it. 10 slash 6 meaning the cost of that style of hat during the 19th century. British pre-decimal, 10 shillings and sixpence. But now it's taken as the day 10 slash 6, the 6th of October. Even further down Alice's rabbit hole, the phrase, mad as a hatter, dates back even earlier than Lewis Carroll, when haberdasheries use mercury nitrate. And the exposure to mercury poisoning over time caused your hatter to develop symptoms that made people think they were mad, tics, delirium, and memory loss, and it's now known as mad hatter disease, or erethism. 
Now, how do we make use of this for coaching ourselves and in our own happiness and success at work? How can we use these three fun days, World Smile Day, International Coffee Day, and Mad Hatter's Day, to expand our self-coaching journey and to add to what we've already done so far? Let's look at World Smile Day. This is built on the concept of pay it forward. Pay it forward is an old concept and an expression for describing the beneficiary of a good deed, repaying it to others instead of to the original benefactor. Okay, so let me say that again. That's quite a mouthful. So it's where the beneficiary of a good deed repays to someone else instead of repaying the original benefactor. You might be more familiar with the 2000 movie Pay It Forward, where a social studies teacher gives an assignment to his class to think of an idea to change the world for the better, and then put it into action. The term is attributed to American author and social reformer Lily Hardy Hammond in her 1916 book, In the Garden of Delight, where she said, You don't pay love back, you pay it forward. So on World Smile Day, could you smile a while and pay a smile forward? And then why not capture it on your social media to spread the word about World Smile Day? You'll find us on Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn doing just this this week. So join us there. Do an act of kindness and help one person smile. Today on International Coffee Day, could you take the opportunity to connect and build social connections? Could you connect to a stranger with an authentically you Duchenne smile? And how about signing the coffee pledge? On Mad Hatter's Day, could you connect to your colleagues with a bit of silliness and fun? I'd love to see your photos of celebrating Mad Hatter's Day. Then, how else could you use this week's special days to build on what you've learned from our most recent episodes about smiling? We've been exploring the possibility of smiling and laughing on purpose and intentionally and how it can help you in all aspects of your life. In paying your smile forward, could you leverage the power of the smile for yourself and make use of the physical impact of smiling on our own bodies? And could you leverage the power of the smile for others and make use of the social impact of smiling on our social interactions and at work? And what about using emojis at work or laughing to spread joy or even examining your thoughts and meeting your own inner critic? And last of all, how can you use today to support what you've been doing so far in learning to coach yourself? Defining, assessing and visioning series one is such an essential part of our journey to happiness and success. If you start off your journey without an idea of where you want to be, if it's fuzzy, then you'll not have a clear future vision. And that's where you're likely to run into problems in coaching. This is what we've been doing throughout Series 1 and the Insight and Bonus Sessions, unpacking happiness, unpacking our dissatisfaction, and unpacking our unhappiness. And so, how can you use these special days this week to add depth to your explorations so far? Last week, we met Wally, or Waldo, of Where's Waldo's Fame, and talked about searching for happiness, pursuing happiness and success at work, and how the work we are doing in Series 1 is creating the clarity you need to successfully coach yourself to happiness and success no matter what. And yes, I do mean it, no matter what. That is what we're doing here, step by step, on Happiness Matters. The pay it forward work today can bring up all kinds of thoughts about yourself and emotions that you find uncomfortable. So remember that you can work with me directly and not just here on the podcast. You can book once-off sessions that I've called once-off Wednesdays, where you can book to work with me for just one session. So if you want to know how to feel better, this is just what you need. You'll find the link on our website, happiness-matters.coach. There's a yellow button, Coach with Julia, 
that will take you directly to my calendar where you can book. We coach online. It's very easy to set up. These three special days are an ideal opportunity to examine how happy you're feeling at work, how successful you think you are. They're perfect for us to coach together. We're using your work as the playground to coach your happiness and success in life. It's here at work where we can address what you want to change in your life, the habits you want to build, the sadness you want to let go of, the irritation that ruins your day. Happiness really does matter, and there is no better time to do this work together. Thanks for joining me this week, and enjoy your coffee today, your smiles on Friday, and your tea party on Sunday. <laughs> Next week, we look into the idea of pay it forward a little more, and we're answering all your podcasting questions before we head into our next big area as promised, that unhappy is the story of happy. Bye for now. From beneath an indigenous milkwood tree, where I'm thinking of you all, over a cup of special World Smile Day coffee. Thanks for joining us on this Happiness Matters podcast. Do join us again here next week on Tuesday. You can subscribe to this series at Apple Podcasts on iTunes, or you can sign up for it on our website, happinessmatters.coach. That's happiness-matters.coach. C-O-A-C-H. Also, you can join our conversation on Facebook by following us there. Our Facebook page is also happiness-matters.coach.